See what a good dog she is, my turtle. Wait, you're such a good girl, fairy. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Okay, let's go start this walk. Good morning, my name is Mike. This is the Nightcore UT27, and it is a two bulb, well, headlamp. So it has a bit more of a yellow side over here, and on this side we have a white light. And it's comfortable as heck. I'm a big fan of it so far. It does everything it needs to do. It folds up nice and small. So let's go take a closer look at it, shall we? Man, what a foggy day today is. Okay, let's take a closer look at this night core, but we're gonna start with the box. It does come with a quick guide, really simple directions, really easy to figure out. I mean, what else do you need? Does come with a USB-C recharging cable. USB-C to USB-C. That's nice. Comes with this handy carrying bag right here. With the Nightcore name on it. And then there is something here in the bottom. Come on. What is, oh my goodness. The specifications. Is that what this is? So the white light, color temperature 6500K, the warm light, color temperature 3000K, 800 lumens in turbo, 500 lumens in high. Oh, it can also run on three AAA batteries. Some different languages. Speaking of the battery, let's go take a look at it here in a second. Oh, and power indicators on the bottom. I never noticed those before. No, oh, so it's 75%. Now this is kind of cool looking. I didn't realize that this was the equivalent of three double A's. So first off, you can adjust the light down like this. And then when you open up this, this is where your battery is. Let's pop that out a little. And there is your Nightcore HLB 1300 battery. It's USB-C rechargeable. So you just take the charging cable or a charging cable, plug it in there, and you'll see there's a little light on the battery. Overall, a really nice light adjustable strap right over here. Reflective. Like I said, it's really comfortable. Now that I look at it inside, I think that's comfortable because it has this rubber grip right there. So it stays in place, which I never really noticed before. But now that I see it there, that's a good idea. That's how it stays on my toque so well. Like I said, my only bummer is that it won't really stay in lantern mode i guess you could put it upside down like this but it doesn't doesn't quite stay the way i want it to you know but not a big deal so i'm cleaning underneath the sink because there's a mouse under here and i gotta find out where it's coming from and what's happening and all that bullshit. Headlamp comes in handy. Really, really handy. Especially in a dark area like this. I'm going to use lots of this today. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm really liking this light. Especially the uh, more dim yellow. It still allows me to see the reflection of my dog's jacket. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice light. And then you have the option of going with the more harsh white. Obviously be better if it was completely dark out, but. And it's just really quite comfortable. It's a real comfortable headlight. It doesn't feel obtrusive like on your head. You don't really notice it there folds down nicely so you can see what's right in front of you if you're cooking or fishing or camping be great for running it's pretty light okay i think get back to my dog walk here this light would be great if you're a runner so we're outside here with the nightcore u27 and let me show you its features really quick. So it has the two bulbs. One is 3000K, one is 6500K. It also has this 
red light with two bulbs on it. You double click it to activate it. And then there you go. Instant red light, which is easier in your eyes. Press it once, it starts blinking. So this is why it's great for running, like trail running, or if you're gonna be cycling, this is, uh, you just flip it around so it's on the back side. It has dual Cree XP-G3 S3. Those probably mean more to you than they do to me, but I just know that they push out a lot of lumens. I'm right behind the camera right now. Let me show you the range of it. This is the 6500. I'll cycle through it to its brightest, which is right there. That's a good distance for what it is. This is more of a floodlight than a thrower. Let's switch over to the 3500K. We'll cycle through it. You can see it's a bit more of a warm light, but still has a pretty impressive range. And then the turbo is right there. So that's both of them on at the same time. Yeah, I think that's a pretty impressive headlamp. I won't be getting rid of it anytime soon. That's for sure. Because, uh, oh, look at that. Is that like a glow in the dark that I see on there? Isn't that cool? It's really comfortable. Comfortable and portable. Fits right into my backpack or my bag without taking up any space. Right there. That's it. That's all the room it takes up. So, once again, that is the Nightcore UT27. And I have to say, I really like it. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of this anytime soon. It is just so practical and handy and it fits everything I need to do. It's good for doing a lot of chores. Keeps my hands free, which is the main thing that these are meant for. And the battery is phenomenal. Plus, it can also run off three AAA batteries. I mean, really, I don't think you're going to find a better headlamp than this, especially in this price range. Really impressive. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, if you like this kind of video, I have a whole list of them right here. Like, literally, right there. And they are a review of different flashlights that I've played with over the past little while in my channel. It's right there. So thanks for watching. See you soon.